This is a three-part series on linear fixtures in Revit and how to set them up to work best with Light Stanza and how to get the proration of your IES files set up automatically in Revit to work easily in Light Stanza upon import. So just a couple things to get orientated quickly is there's two types of linears in Revit, instance and fixed, meaning that fixed is per type the length is consistent, instance is per type the length of the linear can change. So if we go over here and we look at this fixed type linear recess fixed, we have a couple things. There's two parameters that deal with linears in Revit for light stanza, LS luminous length and LS IES basis length. We'll go over those more in depth in the parameter in the third video. But for now, all you need to know is that the luminous length is what scales the IES file defined and the basis length is what the, is the length of the IES file. So and if we go up here, we can see that we have a custom length parameter that's set to four feet. So all these fixture types are going to be four feet. If I change it to six feet, they would all change to six feet. And I can demonstrate that, hit apply, now they all changed. So we're going to go ahead and just take a quick look at this family. So in here, this is the family. We can see a couple things. The IS file is centered on the fixture geometry. And as this expands, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go to a floor plan view. As this expands, the IS file stays centered and we can see that it's the yellow line increased its length. So let's go over how to create this. We'll go up to file, new, family. We're going to use a face-based generic model family. There's other options you can use. I found that face-based works best for a variety of applications. You can also use work plane based. The problem with work plane based is it doesn't give you the option to place on a face when you're placing light fixtures. Work plane based are, are useful though because you can make them non-hosted. But we won't be covering that in this video. So we'll do generic model face base. And first thing you want to do is make this a light fixture. So go over there, family category, light fixture. We'll check light source, and now we have a light fixture. So we'll put that over there. The, that's the IES file. We'll put it over there for a second. And I'm going to walk through quickly just how to great, create a very generic linear fixture in Revit Family Editor. So we're going to do some reference planes. Uh, I pressed RP to draw the reference planes. It's just a shortcut. OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the geometry. We're going to draw an extrusion. We're going to do a rectangle. And we're going to lock it to all these lines. OK. So now as I move this reference plane, the fixture geometry changes. So we're going to add some dimensions to these reference planes. And I'm going to press EQ, press EQ, and now they are centered. So basically what that means is when I change that, this reference plane moves. Next step is to do the height. So let's go to a front view and we'll press RP. We'll draw a reference plane. Oh, I can always do this. I always forget that. Do this. We'll press AL for a line that moves it. Then we lock it. Then we go over here, select this dimension, go up to label, create parameter. We'll name it height. We want it to be a family type, hit OK. And so now as I go over here, we see the height. And I can change it to be 6 inches. And now this moves accordingly with that parameter. So now we're controlling it with a parameter. If I go to a 3D view, I can see that this is the face. So this is imagine this is like the ceiling, OK? And this is the light fixture. And so it's on the front of the face, so it's going to be a surface-based light fixture it's not going to be recessed. If I changed it and dragged this control down inside of the face, it would be a recessed fixture. So we're going to go back to a floor plan view. We're going to add a width parameter to this so we can control the width. And we're going to add a length parameter so we can control the length. OK. And we'll go up here create a new one. And the length parameter, we actually want to be a shared parameter so that we can use it across multiple families and it can appear in schedules. We're going to go ahead and select. 
I'm going to go to edit. We're going to go to browse. And I'm going to go find my shared parameter file. Custom shared parameters. Custom length. Hit OK. Hit OK. You can create that from scratch using the manage tab in Revit. So we want this to be shared parameter, custom length, under dimension, and type. Okay. So now we'll go up here, and we'll see. We'll set the width to be six inches, height is six inches, and we'll set the custom length to be eight inches. Oopsies, I meant eight feet. Okay. So now we have our linear fixture geometry. We're controlling the width, the height, and the length. So the next part is getting the IS file. So we'll go up to select the IS file, we'll go up to light source definition, and we'll use for linear, we'll use a line and a photometric web. You can use a rectangle, we'll use a line in this case. And it comes in as a generic IS file. So if we go over here, we're going to change this to be a linear IS file. It can be any linear IS file from any manufacturer. It just has to be a linear IS file as a placeholder so that you get your IS file position correct. You can replace it in light stanza and it doesn't need to be the one you're actually going to use. It just has to be a placeholder. So I have one from XAL that's four feet. We'll put this at 90 and we'll press OK. So now I have this four feet IS file. We want it to be centered in the in the center of the fixture. So if we move here, we have this reference plane that moves. So we're going to press AL and then find that line, lock it. We'll do it to the center, lock it, boom. And now as I move this, that moves with it. Great. So now I need to get the IS file to scale correctly. And it needs to be rotated correctly because if I go to a right view and we're going to zoom in, we can see that it's actually inside of the face. So we need it to be facing up. So we're going to move this and we'll rotate it and then we'll move it up and remove constraints. I locked it first. So now it's facing up and this is the face that we want the light to be coming out of. We'll go back to our reference plane. We'll realign this, my apologies. And I can't find it, so we'll move it over there. Oh, it's still locked to that one. Okay. So AL lock. All right. So the next part before we get this to be scaled correctly is we're going to go to a front view. And we want this to be offset from this fixture and we want it to be consistent. So we don't want to just lock it. If we press AL, lock it here, lock that. We don't want to just do that because then in light stands that you can get some errors because with certain IS files, it will actually end up going inside of your fixture geometry. So normally half an inch works pretty well. So the first thing we're going to do, draw a reference plane, add a dimension, select the dimension, create a new parameter. This will be a family parameter, IS file offset type. And this way you can change it if you need to based on the IS file. And we're going to go here and we'll make it half an inch. Hit OK. We'll zoom in. AL. Lock. So now that this moves, that moves, and everything is consistent. So we'll go back to a top view. And the last thing we want to do is get the IS file to be the length. So we have this custom length parameter. If we go to the emit from line length, there's a there are a bunch from emit from parameters. It depends on the light source definition you pick. This is the only one we get when we pick a line. We're going to set this to be our custom length parameter. And now it's scaled correctly. So now if I move this, that's correct. So the next, the last thing you can do, which is advanced setup, is we can actually link the LS luminous length parameter as well uh, instead of doing it manually or with a tool that we have in our light stanza tab. So I'll show you how that works. So if we go up to here, family types, we're going to add a new parameter, shared parameter, and I'm going to go find the light stanza shared parameter file. You'll find this at the install location in one of the folders uh, called resources. 
and I go to my computer users resources great so again you would find this parameter file in the install location not the location that you just saw me do so we'll go ahead and select ls luminous length hit ok ls luminous length hit ok and we want this to be an instance based hit ok and now we can set this to be custom length great so that is the last thing we need to do we can load in a project and close we won't save this we will place on face and now if we select this we can see that we have ls luminous length which is populated with our length value which is six foot two and it's grayed out so now if I go up to edit type since it's a fixed type I can change this to be eight feet we hit apply we see that the emit from line length is eight feet this is custom length is eight feet and we hit OK and now our LS luminous length is eight feet and so now instead of having to use these tools or enter in the luminous length manually it is being automatic with this linear fixture type